Benjamin Burton and I'm a content creator currently based out of Seville, Spain. And I don't have any friends. So today we're going to be talking about how to take self portraits. <laughs> there are going to be a couple things that you're going to need in order to get started. The first thing, you're going to need to get a tripod. Tripods are essential for self portraits because if you're not holding the camera, then who is? They're also going to allow you to get a lot of good angles that you couldn't if you were just using the ground or a ledge because you have a lot more control over camera position and angle. The second thing you're going to need to get is either an intervalometer, a camera that already has an intervalometer built in, a camera with a self timer, or a camera that has Wi-Fi capabilities. These are all essential because without any of these, you're not going to be able to take a photo without physically pressing the shutter button yourself. And then the third thing you need to do is to get some inspiration and to do some research. For me, this typically means scrolling through a specific Instagram hashtag or Pinterest to get ideas of what I want my photos to look like. So after you've gotten a tripod, you found a way to take photos without you pressing the shutter, and you've gotten some inspiration and you've done some research for a dope location. Next thing you want to do is to get dripped up, if you know what I mean. You're the primary subject of the photo, so you should definitely make sure that you're looking good. This can mean taking a shower, putting on some fresh clothes, making sure your hair looks good. After that, you're going to want to get up and go to a dope location. Remember all that research you just got done doing? Yeah, now is when we cash in on that. Location is going to make a huge difference. It is usually the majority of the photo, so pick a cool one because even if you're not cool, at least the location will make you seem that way. for taking self-portraits. And tip number three is give zero <laughs> Because when you're doing self-portraits especially, there's gonna be a lot of extra steps that you wouldn't normally do if you're taking photos. And you can look extra weird. And I'm telling you, you should also apply this to your entire life. It's really gonna be very freeing in a lot of ways. Uh, I always ask myself two questions. And the first one is, do I really care about what these people think of me? And then the second one is, will I ever see these people again? And almost always, the answer is no to both of those. And if the answer is no to both of those, why would you ever give a f what these people think about you? There's just, there's just no reason. It's not gonna be easy to give zero f So what you can do instead is decide to go to a location like this. Or you could instead go to a location that is popular or go at a time that is popular. So you could go on Tuesday or Wednesday, or you could go like at five, six in the morning for sunrise. That being said, let's head on to number four. We are officially on to step number four, and this one is a really, really, really important one that like often gets overlooked, but it's gonna be absolutely essential for good banging IG photos. And that is do push-ups before you take photos. I mean, it's simple that. Push-ups make your arms look big, and big arms look way better than small arms in photos. Just trust me on it, I know it might be a little weird, but I'm telling you, you not regret it. All right, let's move on to number five now, let's go. What's up y'all? So, my next tip is going to be to shoot wide. 
all right? Now when I say shoot wide, I don't mean strictly shoot with wide angle lenses. What I mean is that make sure that you have more than just your body in the frame. You can always crop in and post. So that may mean you can just pick up the tripod, move it farther backwards, right? And then with that, you're gonna have more things in frame and you can always crop in and post to get more of what you want. This is also great because, especially if you're shooting it in raw, which you should be, if you're not shooting it raw, what are you doing with your life? Go to your settings right now, I pull it to raw. Just put it, don't, don't ask why, I'm not time to explain it. Just go to shoot in raw, okay? Now that we've established that, especially if you're shooting in raw, cropping in, you won't be losing a ton of detail. You'll still be able to have essentially the same image. It'll be a little cropped in, yes. Um, however, at the end of the day, you lose a ton of quality when you upload to Instagram anyways. Tip number five, shoot wide. Yeah, so basically we're on to tip number six. And tip number six is going to be take a lot of photos, all right? And when I say a lot, I mean a lot, right? Like you think you've taken enough photos, but you haven't. So get to the point where you're like, all right, I've taken way too many photos, this is a problem. And then take some more photos. Because especially when you're doing self portraits, right? So you're gonna have a lot of extra variables and a lot of different things that you can't control as easily. So with that, it's gonna be like, things are gonna be out of focus, or the lighting's gonna be off, or the angle's not gonna be what you want, or the composition is gonna be good. And that's gonna happen a lot. It's gonna happen more than normal. So I'm gonna account for that by taking more photos than you typically would. That's tip six, it's on seven. The last tip that I want to leave you with today is just have fun because to me that's what it's all about, adventuring, exploring, living life to its fullest and doing things that make you happy because life's too short to let even today pass you by. So if nothing else, I hope this video inspires you to go do something that makes you happy.